little girl with the press and curl. AJ, I got a Jerry curl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Shara here. Um, today I wanted to do a natural hair video. Um, as most people know, there's a huge natural hair movement going on at the moment. And by no means is this channel now going to become a natural hair channel or anything like that. It's just that when I'm out, a lot of people do ask me questions like what hair products do you use? You know, what's your hair regimen and all those kind of things. So I thought I'd put it all in a video and I'd share um, what I do to my hair with you guys today. And before we start, I just want, want to say I'm not a hair expert, but I just have a few tips and secrets that I do on my hair that work for me. And hopefully you guys will be able to take something away from it. I've actually been um, natural all my life. I've never had perms or relaxers or anything. My mum's actually got locks and they're like down to the back of her knees and they look amazing. So seeing that growing up, I never felt the need to use perms or relaxers or anything I, I kind of liked my afro and um, the only problem I had was that I could never really retain length I didn't know anything about um, you know moisturizing your hair or doing hot oil, hot oil treatments or anything like that so um, eventually my hair would just kind of get a bit weak and just break at the ends um, so in 2011 I started doing more research into natural hair and how you can get it to grow and retain length and that kind of thing and then I decided um, after straightening my hair so much my ends were really dead so I just decided to cut about two and a half inches straight off and then just start from just start from there and I said I wouldn't straighten my hair for a while which I didn't and ever since then my hair journey has been going really really well and I'm really happy um, I will be doing one other video after this in July um, on July 17th it marks the one year anniversary since I have straightened my hair I set myself the challenge of not straightening my hair for the whole year and it was hard but I'm happy because I've done it because it was time to change my life to become the woman that I am okay so the first thing I do when I'm about to wash my hair is first and foremost I do my hot oil treatments girls if you take nothing else away from this video please remember Hot oil treatments are the way forward and the oils that I tend to use are my extra virgin olive oil this is probably probably my favorite oil I think just because my hair is quite thick and I need something that will absorb 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 so what I do first is I spritz with my little spray bottle and this is just from like a you can get this from boots or super drug and then usually like 99p so I just fill it with water not cold I just fill it with warm water and I separate my hair into about eight sections and I just lightly spritz the hair all over and then when I've done that I go in I just pour a little bit into my hand and I go in and just lather it into my hair the extra virgin olive oil now I've seen these in hair shops and I've seen them selling it, selling it for about $3.99. Girls, do not waste your money. Don't buy them from the hair shops. Go to Asda. I bought this from Asda and this was like £3.99. It's a big bottle and this should last you for like two months. It depends on how many times you wash your hair. But I tend to wash my hair once a week or every other week. It kind of depends on like what, how my week's going. Extra virgin... Um, coconut oil is absolutely amazing and the reason why coconut oil is great is because it actually penetrates the hair shaft um so yeah if you can get this and get extra virgin olive, olive oil as well this will be great so what i do is i mix the two together and i lather that onto my hair and i also mix it with a bit of um shea butter as well this is some like kind of concoction that my mum's mixed together but yeah I tend to use shea butter as well this stuff absolutely stinks by the way but it is so good for your hair and because my hair is very thick I need something a bit denser to soak into my hair shaft so I mix the shea butter I mix extra virgin olive oil and the virgin coconut oil together lather it all onto my hair I put it into about six big twists or six big plaits wrap it in some cling film and then I sit underneath the hood dryer for 40 minutes and just let my hair steam and just absorb all of that nice oil and make sure my hair is getting enough nutrients. Now the hood dryer that I use, I don't have any big steamer, I don't even have enough room in my house for that, but the hood dryer that I use is actually, it comes in 
a little compact case it's a little compact one from Vido Sassoon and you can get these off like Amazon for like £20 or you can get them for about £8 as well and it kind of depends on how much you want to spend and it literally looks like this and all I do is I put it <laughs> flat on my afro I put it on my head I attach the little attachment this on the bottom and I just turn it on and it's really really easy to use I look like such a Martian with this on. The thing is, I always wonder, like, when I have to do this in the future and my boyfriend sees this, what is he gonna say? I don't know. My future boyfriend, by the way. Okay, get a me in. I don't know, I look like a Martian. If he wants my hair to look fabulous, he's just gonna have to put up with it for one day out of the week. It's got like three different settings. Sit under there for 40 minutes and then I'll be able to shampoo. Now, with shampoos, I tend to use ones that are sulfate-free. I haven't I hadn't used sulfate-free ones until about two months ago. But then, looking at all like the sodium lauryl sulfates, which is not good for your hair because it actually strips your hair of all the natural oil, I decided I wanted to go completely sulfate-free. So I always just kind of take an extra two minutes when I'm in the hair shop and I read what is in the shampoo because I don't want to have spent all that time doing hot oil treatments for all of it to be wasted on it being stripped away again so I usually use the um, olive oil range but every time I go in to buy the sulfate free shampoo from them it's always sold out in the hair shop so recently I have been using this I've recently started to use this argan oil Moroccan argan oil shampoo and I tried it for the first time today because I washed my hair um, this morning it's kind of like trial and error with your hair you have to find out what works for your hair not all shampoos work on the same people and not all the oils work on the same people's hair either like I really really like extra virgin olive oil I really like coconut oil but my mum can't use coconut oil because it leaves her hair really crunchy so it kind of depends on what works well in your hair when doing shampoos as well I tend to do two washes I don't really like to go in and do like three I tend to do one and get it really lathery and just go in with a real scrub and then I wash it out and then I do another one and then that'll be it and so after I've done my shampoo I then go in and do a deep condition so to deep condition my hair I will use the olive oil conditioner I've used this range for probably the last four years and I have this thing about if it ain't broke don't fix it I just sit underneath the dryer again for about 15 minutes and then after that's done what I do is I comb through my hair my hair gets really really tangly and nutty in the washing process because I have a lot of shrinkage so what I do is I comb through when this is in it and it makes my hair just a little bit more um, slidey and easier to detangle and if I can I use a wide tooth comb still got hair in it I use my wide tooth comb or I just go ahead and I finger detangle as well because what I don't want is me kind of ripping out um my hair so a wide tooth comb is really really important this right here should be one of your best friends your wide tooth comb after that i go ahead and i just rinse out my deep conditioner and then i'll pat my hair dry that is another thing as well girls your towels are really towels are really really rough and you don't want to be going in with the towel and chafing your um, hair shafts either because that will weaken your hair so if you're gonna if you're gonna dry your hair with the towel pat it dry so after i've patted it dry what i will do is i will then put on a moisturizer again by the olive oil range so again i'll just squirt a big blob in my hair separate my hair into six sections and just go in with the moisturizer and then it depends on how you kind of want to do things if you want to let your hair air dry you could put it into bantu nuts and let your hair air dry and i do do that sometimes but a lot of the time i just don't have the time so i do use hair dryers some people might disagree it's about what works for you but um i use my hair dryer but if i use it i always use it on the medium setting i do not use the hot setting because I don't want heat damage and those kind of things if I'm gonna straighten or you do want um, a straighter blow dry I use this by Fantasia it's a heat protecting serum this is really really good as well I swear by this guys get this this 
is amazing. Um, that's another thing as well. Wearing your headscarf at night, don't think that your headscarf is not important. It's very important. Always wear your headscarf and make sure it's a satin one or a silk one. I just have like an ordinary satin scarf. After I've plaited my hair, I put it into bantu nuts or twists or whatever. I just literally put this on and I go to sleep. I think I kind of have a sixth sense. I think every girl, every girl who wears a headscarf has a sixth sense of when it comes off in the middle of the night that she needs to wake up and put it back on. So yeah, I put my headscarf on and I go to sleep. And that's it. I am not my head. I am not the skin. If I'm going through the week, from day to day, what I do is I use my Cantu Shea Butter. And you can get this from Amazon. I think they stuck it in the shops now. They never used to stock it in the shops, but yeah, they stuck it in shops now. Cantu Shea Butter is a really, really good leave-in deep conditioner and i use this um every other day i don't use it every day because it will leave my hair a little bit crunchy sometimes and cause shrinkage and i don't want that so i use it every other day i'll put it in before i do my twist or my um plaits to go to bed i'll just put it in twist my hair plait my hair put my scarf on and go to bed to be honest i'm quite boring with my hair most of the time i leave it out or i just put it back in a bun or just do a little top knot but when I do, I just tend to use these thick, stretchy bands. And the reason for that is when I use the thin ones, they have this really bad way of kind of ripping out my hair or causing little nuts. So to avoid that, I just use these big, thick ones here. Another thing I do is also protein treatments. Now, some people do like um, the, protein the protein treatments with um, just, the, just the egg itself. I actually tried that just with the egg and I think I mixed it with mayonnaise and it gave my hair protein overload I think I did a double dose on accident and my hair actually became very brittle and started coming out in clumps so I don't do I don't do it with raw egg anymore what I do is I use from the olive oil range again I use their hair mayonnaise and this is really really good I've been using this for a while now and I do this I use this once a month when I want to do a protein treatment I do it in the same way as I'm going to do a deep condition I shampoo first um, make sure my hair is thoroughly rinsed and I will put this on put my hair into twists and I'll sit underneath the um, hood dryer for about 15 minutes I don't sit under longer than 15 minutes because I don't want to give my hair protein overload another thing I also wanted to say as well if you can wear protective hairstyles during the winter now in the UK our weather is so much different to the US in the US you guys get proper seasons over here is a mishmash of everything I've known it to rain snow be sleety and hail and be sunshine all in one day in June in England no so no our hair regimes are a little bit different so um what I tend to do is six months out of the year so I'd say from probably October to about March I tend to wear my hair in protective hairstyles and my favorite protective hairstyles to wear are actually Senegalese twists and I also really really love crochet braids as well and the reason I really love crochet braids is because um, when I have it in most people can't tell because my hair is actually the same length as the crochet um, braid as well so it's a good way of just keeping that natural look all year round so yeah protective hairstyles are a really really good way of just keeping your hair um, protected from all the elements like the wind and the rain and all that kind of thing but I would say make sure you moisturize while your hair is in that protective hairstyle as well so if you've got twists in make sure you're still spritzing with some water and putting some of the um oils on as well sometimes it is really hard like sometimes i can't be bothered and sometimes it's just demotivating it just takes a lot of discipline to keep your hair like this but it's so worth it um my goal i would love to get to waist length in about four years time and the reason why I like to wear my hair like this as well and keep it natural is just because that time has to pass anyway. Like a lot of people get put off doing a natural hair journey because they just think, oh, it's long or I don't have the patience. But the time that it takes to grow is the time that's going to have to pass anyway. So why not spend the next few years just taking care of your hair? Girls, if you are on a natural hair journey, just keep going, be encouraged and well done, girls. Let's do this. That's the end of the video girls, thank you for watching, if you want to see any more about my hair regime 
or what products I use, what protective hairstyles you'd like me to try out, let me know. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. I am not my hair. I am not Call me Diana Rose. Why do you treat me bad? Shut it up like a South African beauty. Got it on lock like Bob Molly. You can rock it straight like Oprah Winfrey. If it's not what's on your head, it's what's underneath and say, hey.